Hi, I'm B.J. St. Pierre, the new St. Charles Parish President. Over the next several months, I'd like to introduce the people of St. Charles Parish to the assets that they own. A lot of people asked me while I was campaigning, where is all our money going? This is one application that the parish is going to use during hurricane protection. My name is Tab Troxler, I'm the Homeland Security Emergency Preparedness Director. Today, we're going to be showcasing the U.S. flood control flood devices that we'll be using across the parish when we have hurricanes or other types of storms that'll be threatening. The usage of these particular tubes is that it's going to save time and money and a lot of resources. When we have an approaching storm, there are certain specific areas, for example, along the Bayou des Almonds area in des Almonds, where we can lay out these tubes and provide temporary protection for residents. Using the tube saves the parish a lot of money and it's very efficient because in the past we've had to use sandbags. The sandbags and dirt is, is a very uh, large operation, it's not very efficient and in the case of these U.S. Uh, flood control tubes, these are reusable. And a good part is the parish has already uh, used these before in past storms and we have about 200 on hand. It usually takes, if we're using a fire hydrant to fill these hoses, it takes about two minutes to fill one of the hoses. Uh, we are already having plans uh, being put in place right now. We're going to deploy over 160 of, of the 200 that we already have, and we're, we're going to be looking at other locations where we can use these. So in general, uh, the tubes can be, can be really filled uh, rather quickly, two minutes or less. Really, they can stay up for a very, very long period of time as far as their ability to do that. What we are preparing to do is use these tubes tactically in certain situations depending on a storm threat and place them in areas that we feel will be vulnerable from uh, storm surge. We're going to be doing a lot of training with our public works department, but not only the public works, we're going to work with our wastewater, our recreation, and our water works departments, uh, all the different field personnel that we have throughout the parish in filling these tubes. In addition to that, Sheriff Sean Pond has pledged some help through the use of inmates and inmate labor and together uh, with a combined effort we're going to be putting teams together and doing training uh, so that we're able to deploy these tombs in a very uh, fast manner if, if, if a threat arises. A lot of times when we, when we go out to deploy these tubes, we're going to need help. So we may be soliciting the help of residents. Uh, we may even open up a, an evening training session for residents uh, so, so they can volunteer and have some knowledge of the use of the system because these things are something that really protects their homes and uh, it, it would be very good to bring them into the fold. This system was uh, implemented in 2004. Uh, we have over 250 tubes and it cost the parish roughly $250,000. 